All right, people, listen. Today we're gonna try this Xmark 30 inch mower with a Kohler 200cc on it. And I just want you to know that I'm putting my life at risk right now because I let this yard get so out of control, we look like we're in a foreclosure. So I'm, I'm doing this sacrifice for y'all. And it, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Me like letting the yard get halfway up my shin um, is very dangerous, okay? It's very dangerous. So I just want y'all to know, again, I am putting my life at risk for you guys and to see what this mower can do. We've got a birthday party coming here tomorrow, a huge bouncy house. I was supposed to have the yard done a week ago, but I said, babe, I have to wait just one more week. So you guys, if I go missing after this video, you know why. All right, so as you can see, this stuff is really, really, really thick, okay? So, really thick. I'm gonna show you how thick some of this stuff is. So far, it's doing really good. Um, you heard the engine idle jump down a little bit, which is to be expected. Um, but here, let me show you how thick this is. So we got some stuff coming up to about right here. And if you guys are just not familiar with uh, St. Augustine grass, bros, this stuff is just thick. The blades are very wide. You can see they're easily over half the width of my finger. Blades are very, very thick, very wide when it comes to St. Augustine grass. So, so far, it's doing really good. I got to get that hedge today, too. I've been waiting to trim that hedge. So, the funny story about this hedge right here, we used to have these neighbors next door. Um, and they weren't so nice and they were kind of um, odd. And so I finally got sick of their crap one day. He would come to the back door when Leah would be here and he would um, knock on it when I was at work. So one day I just went out and bought 12 of these uh, 45 gallon hedges and I just put them in here. 
so I wouldn't have to see him or the fence anymore. And he moved after that, but whatever. So I got to trim those things today too. So anyways, um, and you can see it definitely, it's pretty cool. It's St. Augustine grass and it's already striping the St. Augustine grass. So I'm trying to put a little bit of curve into it because there's kids coming here tomorrow. I don't want to get too nuts, but put a little, put a little candy cane curve into the stripes. So we're going to keep mowing um, because it's about to start uh, raining. So you can see, let me see if you can see that right. Yeah, there's the storm clouds right there. This just sucks. It's just been raining all freaking summer. All right, so let's just keep mowing. Alright guys, so this is my first time 
ever actually using one of these 30 inch commercial mowers by Xmark or anybody. That is the first time I've ever used a 30 inch mower in my life. Probably have grass on it. So, having said that, um, I definitely see why people use these. Um, it's It's got a pretty, you know, we use 36s and it's got a pretty big cut for something that you walk behind. Um, here's the thing is, I could see a homeowner who likes to walk and doesn't want to sit on a mower, but kind of wants a bigger cut, but without spending $8,000 buying these mowers all day long. I would say this is definitely commercial use and a very serious homeowner that likes to walk mower's yard. That that would be killer for that, man. So, and you guys saw this, this didn't take that long to cut. That 30 inches really makes a big difference. Um, it was super thick. We had anywhere from six to probably 10 inches of, of, uh, of sod in places, or you know, grass in places, and it mowed right through it. A couple times it was, you know, the RPMs come down, but never once did it even come halfway close to shutting off. So I'm pretty impressed by that. This was thick. This is about as thick as we're going to mow um, yards down here, skipping a couple of weeks. Um, now, my yard hasn't been fertilized in a while, so it would have been even worse had I gotten fertilized. So it's gonna vary to every yard, um, every type of grass. This is just for me down here in Florida, in Jacksonville. Um, and to, to go on, you know, Jacksonville, very sandy soil. Um, St. Augustine grass is very dense, very, very dense, very thick grass. You guys made some comments on the, on the laser edge self sharpening blades about getting 75 hours on the blades. You know, they were a little torn up, there was still some bite on them. And you guys, some of you guys were like, oh, I get hundreds of hours on your blades, on our blades, but we, just so you get, know guys, like we don't get that. I'm jealous. You guys run a landscape business a lot cheaper than we do then because down here, I'm not familiar with up there, but down here we do not get that long out of our blades. We sharpen them every week, sometimes twice a week. Um, and it just, the blades just disappear, man. They disappear really fast. It's the conditions down here and the type of grass. So we can't keep, um, we cannot keep um, blades that long, you know, that long down here. But anyway, jumping back to this, first time using it, I like how you can one hand operate it. Um, you can definitely use one hand to turn around. It's the first time I ever used it, so I kind of started getting a little, started getting used to it where you can grab it by one hand, turn it around. When I went along that row of hedges right there, the grass was a little over a foot tall. I was able to just to stand to the side of it and just hold the sidebar and let it get inside the bed and mow the grass at the same time, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, this is just an initial thing. Um, first time using it we're gonna take it on our commercial properties and do some things with it too but so far this is like I don't know it looks like a little sports car man this, this little suckers mean dude it's definitely a mean looking mower um, so we'll do some more on it and um, just kind of keep you guys up to uh, what we think about it and uh, where we could use it but so far I, I just gonna leave it here and say I see why you guys use it um, here let me show you this look guys look how bad the grass is Okay, this is how thick this is. Okay, look at that. I got in so much trouble for this, and I did it for y'all. I did it for y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna blame it on y'all. I did it for y'all, okay? I needed some tall grass to do this. Tall grass, was it worth getting my rear end kicked? But listen, look how pretty it looks now, though. You know, it's stripes, you know, even though it's hard to see them, but you know, whatever, the sun, St. Augustine grass. But it works, man, it works. So I got to finish mowing the side over there, finish mowing the front. But yeah, this thing is great, dude. The cut is phenomenal. It's really, really good cut on this thing. All right, guys. Peace out.